All right, got a quick video here today just to show you how to change your boot screen on your Android 8.0 car stereo. And there's a lot of different brands out there, but all of them work pretty much the same way. Uh, this model here is from Sakane, but they're all very similar. Uh, this might also work for like some of the older ones, like 7.0 and 6.0 versions of Android. But anyway, things have changed a little bit. Um, to get to the settings, first thing you want to do is um, you need to put the screen, the picture that you want on a flash drive. So I've just got a little flash drive here that has my image on it. And what I did is I sized it to the display in my car. In this case, this is a 1024 by 600 pixel display. And you have two options uh, in Android here, which I'll show you in a minute. You can either have a animated boot screen or a um, just a still picture, basically, you should go up on the screen. When it's a still picture, when you're creating your image, you should make it or downloading your image. It's just a 1024 by 600 picture, and it will show up on the screen exactly how it looks on your computer monitor. If you're going to do the animation, it will zoom the picture and uh, possibly distort it. So I'll kind of show you what I mean here in a minute. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my flash drive into my USB port. All right, so the radio automatically opened the, that. Okay, so on my flash drive here, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so let's see. Here is my image, and this is what I mean. I've got mine sized to be used for an animation, so we'll go ahead and open it so I can show what it looks like. As you can see, that's not necessarily how you would want it to look on your screen when it's loading, but what it's going to do is for an animated boot screen, it's going to shrink this down and just put it in the middle of the screen in a box. So when you're making an animated boot screen, you want it to fill the whole picture. And I'll show you how that works here in just a second. So let me go ahead and get out of here. And we're gonna to need to go into our settings. We're gonna go all the way down to our car settings and then factory settings all right so your password is one two six all right now if we go to car logo normally there would be a list of custom logos in here um and a lot of the stereos mine came with none so I'm going to go ahead and change this. Um, this is basically the same image. It just wasn't a very good quality, so I'm going to redo it. So we click User, Custom. Now you want to find your flash drive. If it's your, that's your SD card, and this is a USB drive here. So there it is. Go ahead and click on it. We're going to click Animation Logo if you wanted an animated one, or if you just wanted it just on the screen as a still picture, you'd click screen logo. So we'll click animated logo. You wanna click apply. Exit. And once you exit out, we wanna to check to make sure that it worked. And a lot of these newer stereos have a instant load. So just turning the car off and back on isn't really gonna show us what we wanna see. So I'm gonna to have to actually hit the reset button on this stereo. It's kind of hidden back here. So let me press the reset button. All right. And there you go. You can see right in the middle of the screen is our animated logo that we created and put on there. And as you can see, it shrunk it down. So that's what I mean. If you want it to be as large as possible, you need to put the picture right to the borders of your image. All right, hopefully this video helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Be sure to like the video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.